Tighten your tie. Holmes. Mm. You're early. Fashionably. Miss Mary Mawson. Oh, my goodness. What a pleasure. For the life of me, I don't know why it's taken him so long to introduce us properly. Pleasure is mine. It really is quite a thrill to meet you, Mr. Holmes. I've heard so much about you. I have a pile of detective novels at home, Wilkie Collins, Poe. It's true. It can seem a little far-fetched, though, sometimes. Making these grand assumptions out of such tiny details. That's not quite right, is it? In fact, the little details are by far the most important. Take Watson. I intend to. <laughs> See his walking stick, a rare African snake wood, hiding a blade, five tenths out of steel. A few were awarded to veterans of the Afghan war, so I can assume he's a decorated soldier, strong, brave, born to be a man of action. And? Neat, like all military men. Now, I check his pockets. Ah, a stub from a boxing match. Now, I can infer that he's a bit of a gambler. I'd keep an eye on that dowry if I were you. Those days are behind me. Right behind you. This cost us the rent more than once. Well, with all due respect, Mr. Holmes, you know John very well. What about a complete stranger? What can you tell about me? You? I don't think that's... I don't know that that's... Not a dinner. Perhaps some other time. I insist. You insist? You remember we discussed this. The lady insists. You're a governess. Well done. Yes, well done. Shall we... Waiter. Your student. It's a boy of eight. Charlie's seven, actually. Uh, uh. Finished tour for his age. He flicked in kitchen today. Is there ink on my face? There's nothing wrong with your face. There are two drops on your ear, in fact. India blue is nearly impossible to wash off. Anyway, a very impetuous act by the boy, but you're too experienced to react rashly, which is why the lady for whom you worked lent you that necklace. Oriental pearls, diamonds, a flawless ruby, hardly the gems of a governor's. However, the jewels you are not wearing tell us rather more. Holmes, you were engaged. The ring has gone, but the lighter skin where it once sat suggests that you spent some time abroad wearing it proudly. That is, until you were informed of its true and rather modest worth, at which point you broke off the engagement and returned to England for better prospects. Doctor, perhaps. Right on all counts, Mr. Holmes, apart from one. I didn't leave him. He died. Well done, old boy. Thank <laughs> you.